genius. Get on to my show. And then I have a second memoir because it's been quite an interesting road. Mm-hmm. After, uh, it's been written about a little bit, a little bit what happens after you write out a controversial memoir, but mm-hmm. most people don't have the wonderful happy ending that I had with mm-hmm. having a hit TV show that won two Golden Globes yeah. coming out. And uh, I was reunited with the Golden Globe that the show, well, that tells you what the production company was. but Yeah. So I got to see it and admire it and take a selfie with it yesterday. That's fantastic. Um, so that just doesn't happen. It's like having a, a wedding at the end of a really sad drama or something. <laughs> <laughs> so I have that. I had gone to Bali years ago mm-hmm. and filmed a like a sizzle reel promotional video Mm -hmm. with uh myself really i didn't go with anybody except the i met up there with the ucla's professor of balinese music how long ago was this this was 2007 oh okay so it's a show that's like anthony bourdain's travel shows but instead of food it's ethnic music and dance Uh uh-huh so i don't know if i'd at this point whether i'd be the person uh to host it or not yeah um i now have some acting experience yeah yeah you know, we could always find somebody else, but I think it would be a show that people would enjoy. Sure. So we've got that. Then uh, the fourth thing, well, there was the mem- second memoir. And then the fourth thing was uh, my father was a professor of black history. Mm-hmm. And I played the s- uh, soundtracks of all the Spike Lee movies. And mm-hmm. my dad said, you have to tell Spike Lee about this this guy who is a black Civil War hero, mm-hmm. really impressive man um, named uh, Robert Smalls. Mm-hmm. And then I never saw Spike Lee again. <laughs> Although I think I could probably I bet you call could. him up now. Yeah, 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 exactly, <laughs> exactly. Um, so I'm going to work on that. That's the next thing I'm going to do. And work you don't on. do any session work here in town now? I wish I did, but I seem to be on everybody's S list. So. Wow. Yeah. That's unbelievable. Yeah, I can't get arrested here. That's, a, well, <laughs> not always a bad thing, I guess. Um, tell me about your uh, input on the show. What, what is it that, I, I mean, I saw, I see in the credits that you um, consult for the show. Do you yeah. do any writing? Do you do, and you said you have some acting experience too. Is that involved? I'm, I'm in the show. You are? Yeah. And strangely, uh, because the series that I'm pitching is about ushers, they didn't know this when they wrote the part for me. They made me an usher in the show. So I have this scene with Ga- Gabriel, I'm uh, Gabriel, oh, okay. <laughs> with Gael Garcia, Garcia Bernal, uh-huh. Uh-huh. Um, where he's coming into the hall and... Uh, is it which season uh, is it in? It's season two, episode nine. Okay. So I immediately went on a diet after that. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> yeah, when I no, saw it's myself, crazy, right? Oh, and they put me in a white blouse. How, oh, what, what is it like working with all those folks? I mean, oh, they're so nice, and they're so you know they're very deferential and very concerned that they're not doing it right. Yeah. You know they worked really hard. How about Gael with his conducting? Tell me about he's that. He's actually he's actually pretty good. Yeah. And he worked very hard on it. There's some sort of weird delay and I played in the orchestra a couple of times fourth I played quote air quotes yeah, yeah. fourth French horn yeah um you play French horn too no oh okay I was gonna <laughs> say Jesus no every everybody that's impossible to play everybody in the orchestra was um well it's a pretty easy instrument to fake to fake yeah. looking like you play yeah, obviously exactly. you wouldn't want to hear me yeah, yeah, by yeah, the yeah. end of the the end of the shoot I could actually play the eight notes the guy next to me taught me to play the eight notes wow I mean that's not an easy instrument well, we were there all day. <laughs> I didn't say it sounded good or got it right every time. <laughs> you know, I think I they mean, were I getting took pretty all day to I, learn it. I mean, geez. Low horn, and I was just blatting away down there. <laughs> they were probably, we can't say anything to her. She wrote it. <laughs> oh, that's funny. <laughs> um, so, Guy, you know, there's some sort of weird delay because the soundtrack is already recorded. Yeah, of course, yeah. And um, then we're pretending like we're playing, although yeah. we're actually making the noise. And then I think by the time when we're actually playing with him and Malcolm McDowell also conducts. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I thought um, his conducting is pretty good. Well, I thought both of them were pretty yeah. good. I mean, it seems very uh, I've worked with worse. I, and, we both have worked with worse, I'm sure. Well, that's, what, that's <laughs> whenever I look at the comments online, yeah, they should have gotten a conducting coach. They had like Ransom Wilson teaching them. They wow. had all these famous people teaching them. And they, they really put in the work and did a good job. Yeah. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. So there was just some sort of weird delay because you've got three different things. You've got it on screen, you've got us pretending to play, and then you've got the recording. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then Gael conducted um, the L.A. Phil. He actually um, came out on stage and conducted uh, the, the L.A. For the Hollywood Phil. Bowl? Yeah. So, a scene? And yeah. it's, it's very funny because the stage manager who's cast in the show, who's pushing him out on oh, stage, is it. 
Dino Mel. I saw that. It was so funny. So, then, I love how he says, he says, uh, oh, I hope, I hope you come here because we hate the conductor. <laughs> <laughs> it's funny because whenever I've been around my LA Phil friends, they're like, we don't hate him. We no, love him. <laughs> no, he's great. I've, I've performed with him a few times and he's fantastic. Yeah. He's and then, you know, he was afraid. I'm old friends with the CEO of the, of the orchestra, mm-hmm. Deborah Borda. Mm-hmm. Because I was playing in the Philharmonic when she was there, mm-hmm. and uh, she's a musician. She plays the viola. Huh, uh-huh. She was saying he's kind of afraid to watch it. I'm trying to make him watch it. He was afraid. Oh, it's so funny. And finally, he watched it, and now he and Gael are, you know, bosom buddies. They love each other. Oh, that's that's. They, like, they have a bromance. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I can. Yeah, you can kind of see that on screen. Actually, they, he. I thought. I, I thought Gustavo was really, really good. So natural. Really funny. Well, he ad libbed that line. Too. Really, that was not scripted. Yeah. Oh my god, that's that's one of my favorite parts of the show, actually. And then the there was the episode with the four musicians, Emmanuel Axe. And I couldn't Alan believe Gilbert. that. How did that come together? I mean, who got them all together? Well, they had asked Joshua Bell yeah, the yeah, first yeah. season. Mm-hmm. So they were all happened. I think they had tried to get Itzhak Perlman mm-hmm. in on it. He w- probably maybe opened the book and found he wasn't that Painted popular. Painted in, in, <laughs> yeah. in the best light. So yeah. he ended up not doing it. But the four of them just happened to be in town at the same time. I mean, it was Alan Gilbert. Yeah. Long, long. Uh, long, long. Uh, Emmanuel Axe. And Joshua. And Josh Bell. Yeah. 